Hi all, welcome back to our next session on uh, getting started with Power BI. I'm Sailaja and welcome to our channel on LearnNet Cloud Analytics. So as discussed in our previous video, uh, we've been talking about what are the different phases of uh, working in a Power BI project. As in, uh, we had uh, uh, discussed about the data integration phase and in today's section we would be discussing about the other different stages that are involved in a power bi project so the second phase or the second stage that is involved is the data processing stage so after we establish a data connection in power bi with the respective data source using the gate data the next stage would be a data processing stage so in data processing, uh, we uh, this is actually helpful to uh, eradicate any unexpected erroneous data or sometimes a few data cells might be empty when we've connected to our data set. So uh, this would help us to interpret the missing values and inaccurate data for processing in the data processing stage. So let's see how this data processing can be uh, adopted or how it can be integrated with this uh, Power BI desktop. So for data processing, we actually make use of this Power Query. Okay, so let's see what is a Power Query in Power BI and uh, what are the different uh, ways of performing the data transformations in the Power BI desktop. So let us quickly get back to this Power BI desktop and I am trying to connect to this sample data store and uh, so while the navigator fetches the relevant tables listed within that selected database, uh, let's see uh, what are the different tables. So I would select the people table and the returns as well um yeah and uh, let's see this okay so we have a regional manager and the region okay so uh, let's have this and uh, i would then connect now there is an option which says load transform data and cancel so now we will have to select this transform data in order to perform the etl operations in power bi so in power bi uh, there is an inbuilt etl tool which is called as a power query editor so this is a ui interface in which we would be allowed to make all the data transformations that is necessary for a connected data so within this power query editor there are different types of transformations that is allowed for us to perform on the connected raw data so let's see quickly what are the different options that are available and do some analysis on top of that so on this section where we see the uh, different uh, options uh, we are allowed to perform like uh, some uh, removal of unwanted columns or uh, uh, keeping some columns that is needed and uh, we can actually uh, perform some uh, split of the existing column by a separator or we can do some group by operations on the existing data or you can also change the column data type as well so if you select any specific column that would show you the current uh, data type as uh, listed by the original data source and if you think that the data type is not relevant for your respective column then it would allow you to make the desired selection for the data type category okay and uh, we also have another option which would uh, allow us to transform or make this table proper so as you can see here within this uh, to this connected table people do the first row is not the column header right it has taken an unwanted column name as a header so therefore we would have to make this regional manager row as the column header and 
let's do quickly the transformation as in so i'll just select on this use first row as headers and power bi has automatically considered this respective row as the column headers and if you notice here towards the right hand section there is a pane which states as a query settings so within this query settings we see the name of the table that is currently uh, shown on this pane and if you want you can also do a rename of this table and then with uh, below that we also see a section which is called as an applied steps so within this section uh, we actually see a list of steps that have been applied during our transformation phase so the first one is uh, when we've connected to the respective data source so it would allow us to show the source details in this uh, step and the second step is the navigation because we've navigated to this uh, power query editor and then the third step is that i've changed the data type so though i have not changed it but i just selected and uh, selected this data type so it has taken it and then the fourth transformation is promoted as a headers so since we've made this first row as the headers so that has been listed as the next step and then it has changed the type of it okay so at any point of time if you wanted to see what transformation have been performed on that respective uh, data you can always look through these steps to understand what have been performed on the connected table or the data and uh, so uh, let let me just quickly remove the step because that was not relevant so what i would do is like i'll just remove these steps as well so i'll just tell you why okay now i'll just select this and uh, go to this use first row as columns and um, yeah okay now uh, all the required transformations have been complete okay so there are also other options where uh, you can just uh, merge the query or append a query so uh, merge queries are nothing but uh, relevant to joining the different tables as similar to that of a SQL and append is similar to that of union in a SQL. So if you'd like to append multiple uh, data sets one below the other in that case as similar to a union you can do that by using the append queries in power bi desktop and merge queries are nothing but if you'd like to join multiple tables then you can make use of this merge query through which you would be able to define the relationship and uh, do the joining of multiple tables so we will talk about the merge queries uh, when we discuss uh, about the uh, power pivot so power pivot is nothing but uh, which would allow us to perform the data modeling all right so this is how you are able to perform the different uh, etl trans uh, etl transformations so etl is nothing but extract transformation and loading and uh, power query editor is the inbuilt etl tool from power bi desktop okay so uh, let's uh, understand or uh, let's have a quick recap on what we've discussed today so as a recap uh, we've discussed about the next stage of working with a power bi desktop uh, project the second phase being the uh, data modeling or uh, the data transformation so within this data transformation phase we make use of the power query editor which would allow us to perform all the ETL transaction on the given data. So as part of this transformation, usually we perform if there are any, um, uh, um, any data type changes that we might need to perform on the respective columns or probably if there is any need to remove unwanted columns or if we have to split the respective column or uh, in order to... Um, have the first row as a header or uh, do some uh, additional uh, transformations like probably uh, sorting or uh, connecting to different data sources and uh, using the merge query and append query so there are uh, 
many options that have been listed here so you can just go through each of them and uh, uh, we'll see uh, one by one when we are going through the data transformation topic in detail okay so this is about this topic in this session and uh, talk to you again thank you